Hello everybody and welcome to another adventure on Wonder Melly's English Planet. Um, I'm wearing my cancelled hat because 2020 has been cancelled and we have a lot of events and a lot of things that have been cancelled but it's a good thing because everybody needs to stay home. Please wash your hands, stay safe. Um, if you're watching this video in the future, <laughs> yes, 2020 was a very difficult year. So please, 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 students, stay safe, stay home, um, wash your hands, take your precautions, and uh, you can watch your videos and practice that way. Um, today, we're going to continue with parts of the body, and we're going to talk about the midsection and arms, okay? Um, first, I want to start with, I have a picture here for you. Uh, this part of the body this part this part is the chest and we spell it this way we do C H E S T your chest okay so that's your chest now I want to talk about this part of the body we have one and two so this part, I have a picture for you too. This part is the shoulders. Do we know how to spell that one? That one is a little difficult. Uh, so let's do it. S-H-O-U-L-D-E-R-S. So we have one shoulder, two shoulders, okay? Those are the shoulders. So we have chest, we have shoulders. Um, what are we going to do now? Oh, okay, students, <laughs> this part right here, we put our deodorant every morning. That's your armpit. Do you know how to spell that? A R M P I T, your armpit. One armpit, two armpits. So I'm gonna put an S there because we have two, don't forget to put deodorant every day on both of them. Um, okay, so we have your armpit. Now I want to talk about this part. This is that part, students. It's your, your back, okay? And we spell it this way. You do B-A-C-K, your back, okay? All right, so now we're going to talk about this. So this is your arm, okay? So we have one arm, we have two arms. So how do we spell that? We do A, R, M for one. If we have two, well, I mean we have two typically, uh, so two arms, okay? So those are your arms but we have some parts of the arms that I want to talk about this part right here we have the muscles I don't have muscles but it's okay uh, so this part right here is your upper arm so we do this we do U P P E R A R M so that's your upper upper arm okay so this part right here, from here to here. Um, if you ever were a volleyball player, hit the ball with this one, right? So this is your forearm, okay? So your forearm, we spell it F-O-R-E-A-R-M, your forearm, okay? So we have one arm, two arms, you have the upper arm, forearm. Now, my students, this word is a little difficult and it's a little difficult to pronounce and to say it. This part right here is your wrist, okay? Your wrist. So we have one wrist, two wrists, okay? I'm going to spell that and we're going to practice pronunciation of that. So we have wrists, we spell it W, 
R I S T S. Your wrists. Okay? So let's say one. One wrist. Wrist. Two wrists. That's a little difficult or a lot difficult. It's okay, but you can practice at home. Um, so we have our wrists. Yeah? This part. Okay, my students. So now we have this part. Oh, where did my picture go? It's okay. What is this? This is your hand. And we have two hands. Yeah? Um, how do we spell hand? So I'll help you. It's all right. We do H A N D for one hand. We have two hands, which is add an S, okay? So two hands, all right? So we have one hand, two hands. We have a right hand, and then we have a left hand. And students, for people confused with the right and left, I get confused all the time. You know, when you're driving and it says, turn right, turn left, I don't know, I get confused. Um, but I have a little trick for you. Your left hand is like an L. So you could do L for left, and then the other one is your right. Um, okay, so parts of the hand, because we have some parts here, um, and I want to talk about that in detail, because we have some cool things happening here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a hand. Give me one moment, and I will do this. True, do, 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 do. And, oop, ta-da, there's my hand, <laughs> my beautiful hand, okay. Um, all right, students, so this part, this part of, I mean, let's go back, let's do this. All of these, what are these? These are fingers, okay? So how do we spell fingers? So we do F-I-N-G-E-R-S. One finger, we have five fingers, yeah? Um, so five fingers in one hand, five fingers in the other, total of 10, okay? So those are our fingers, all of these, all right? Uh, so our fingers. So I want to talk about the fingers in, in a moment because it's very interesting and fun. So this one right here, any ideas what we call this one? We call this one the thumb. Notice, students, TH sound. We did TH in my last video, okay? So it's not Tom. Tom is a name of somebody, my friend. I don't know, I don't have a friend named Tom. But this is a thumb, look at this, thumb, okay? So we spell it this way. I'm gonna put it here, so we have T H U M B, and that's the thumb. Okay, so we have an expression. <laughs> we have a few expressions with the thumb. So when we say thumbs up, thumbs up, something is good. We like it. Thumbs up. Like if we watch a movie and we really like it, thumbs up. Yeah. Um. So I'll put thumbs up. Thumbs up is good. Thumbs up. And if we have the opposite, what do you think it is? Mm. It's thumbs down. Not good. No bueno. Um, so thumbs up, very good. Thumbs down, not so good. Um, so we'll do thumbs. Thumbs down. Thumbs up and thumbs down. That's a D, sorry for my handwriting. Uh, so thumbs up, thumbs down. Not so good. Remember, thumb, T-H sound. Not thumb, because that's not correct. Okay, so we have the thumb. Now we have this finger, students. Do we know this finger? What is this? We use it to point. This is your index finger. Um, so we have I, N, 
D E X. I'm sorry, let me fix that X because it doesn't look so good. Your index finger, this one, index, index. Yep, uh, so your index finger. Good, so we have the thumb, we have the index. Now, students, I have to be careful with this one. I don't want to do anything bad, but this one is your middle finger. This one. Students, be careful with the middle finger, okay? So, um, yeah, it's a bad thing. <laughs> so, be careful with the middle finger, but I have to teach it to you. So, it's the middle. M I D D L A. It's an E. So it's that middle finger. Yeah. Be careful, students, with the middle finger. Okay. <laughs> now, students, <laughs> we have two more fingers to go. This one right here is the ring finger. And look at this. I have a ring on my right hand. Typically, if you have a ring on your left hand is when you're married or when you're engaged and you're going to get married soon. Your teacher, look at this, no ring on the left hand. So sad. But maybe someday I can get a ring. <laughs> but um, on my left hand, I wear it in the middle finger. Hmm. Okay, so that's the ring finger. So we're gonna do R I N G. That's the ring finger. We should do a little ring here. Give me a moment. So we do la da da. Do the ring. You can do a ring. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. So now I have a little ring <laughs> on my ring finger. Uh, so yeah, the ring finger. Yeah. Okay. How are we doing? Good. So we have the thumb, we have the index, we have the middle, and we have the ring finger. This one, students, it's a lot of fun. This one, do you know what we call this one? This one is the pinky. This little one, the pinky. So I'm going to spell it, and then I'm gonna tell you some cool things about the pinky, okay? Another expression that we have, because I know you love idioms and expressions in English. So I have one very important one. So I have the pinky. A P I N K Y. Now in British English they might spell it with an I E, but I'm doing the more American version, so uh it's like this. This pinky. Pinky. Okay. The little pinky. Um so students, pay attention. This is important stuff. Um when you do a pinky promise. Pinky promise. You cannot break it. This is very serious. So when you talk to your friends or to your boyfriend or I don't know, to your teacher and you make a pinky promise, you cannot break it. You have to do it. Like if you do pinky promise that you're going to practice English every day, you cannot break it. This is very serious. Okay. So pinky promise. Okay. So you're going to do a pinky promise. And everybody's gonna pinky promise that you're gonna practice your English every day. So we do pinky promise. Yeah. So your pinky promise. Okay. So let's review. Let's do thumb, thumbs up, thumbs down, right? The index finger, index, right? And uh, then we have the middle. Hmm, be careful, students, with the middle. Um, you have the ring finger and ring on the left hand. No ring. Uh, and then pinky. Pinky. Thank you, promise. Okay? All right. So what else do I want to talk about? Oh, this part. Look at this. What are these? Look, I painted them. Yeah? This is something you can do on quarantine, right? Because a nail salon is closed. This is... The nails, right? These are the nails. And um, so a nail, plural, nails. So the nail salon is closed right now. So you could do this in quarantine, paint your nails. Um, so I'm going to draw some nails right here. 
Look at this. Da -da 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 -da. Look at that. Uh, so this is the nail. So we do N-A-I-L. Nail. And plural is nails. Yeah. Nails. Right. Um, so good. So we have the nails. I'm going to paint them here. Just because I get a little crazy sometimes. So look at this, students. I gave my hand a manicure in two seconds. <laughs> so those are the nails. All right. Good. What else do I want to talk about here? Oh, students, this is good. I have three more things that I want to talk about. Remember pronunciation? Three, not the tree. Three. Okay, students, this part. This right here. This one. Do we know what that's called? That's the elbow. So we have one elbow, two elbows. Students, have you heard the expression? Probably from your mother when you're going to eat dinner. No elbows on the table. Like to eat like this, like with the elbows on the table. Mm -mm, don't do that. That is not a good idea. Your mother is going to be upset. So no elbows on the table. So how do we spell elbow? We have E L B O W for one elbow. But we have one elbow, two elbows, I have two elbows, okay? No elbows on the table, all right? Make your mother happy, so it's the elbows. All right, so I have two more things that I want to talk about. This part right here, this, what is this, students? That is the stomach, okay? The stomach. Do I need to stand up and show you my stomach? Okay, I'll do it. So this part is the stomach, okay? Stomach. How do we spell it? Hmm. So we have S-T-O-M-A-C-H, the stomach. Notice, students, it's not stomach. That is incorrect, no stomach. A lot of students get confused, and I understand because in your language, ch, we say it like sh. But in this situation, in English, this like this, we say stomach. It's like a k sound, okay? No stomach, stomach, yeah? So that's your stomach. Sometimes we say the abdomen or the abs. So abdomen which is A-B-D-O-M-E-N, the abdomen. And sometimes for short, because we like to abbreviate a lot in English, especially American English, sometimes we say the abs, abs, yeah? Sometimes when people go to the gym and they work out and they have really nice abs, we call it a six pack. You do six pack. A six pack, that's a P, but I'm running out of room. <laughs> I just wanted to give you another idiom, but I'll write it over here somewhere. So a six pack is when you have like a really nice stomach and abdomen and you go to the gym. I don't have a six pack, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> so one more thing that I want to talk about before we go and then we will review everything and then you can just practice and go back to watching Netflix or whatever you're doing during the quarantine. Um, one last thing, students. This part, I think I have to stand up again. This part right here is your waist, okay? This part, your waist. Now, please pay attention to this part, important. Um, the way we spell it, because we also have waste, like a waste basket for the trash. And I see a lot of people including native speakers who make this mistake. And I don't want my students to make this mistake. I had a boss, I worked at an office one time and my boss would write letters to clients and he would write this incorrectly. So please students, don't, don't do this, okay? Let's do it. So this waist, the part of the body is W-A- 
I S T the waste and we spell it like that okay w a i s t waste okay this part is your waste i don't want to see anybody writing this this is something else this is like trash or you're not using your time like when you say don't waste my time is the that one it's not this, okay? So I'm gonna go and do this very quickly. We're gonna do ba ba da ba 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 ba. No, okay. Please, students, remember this, okay? These are two different words. They sound the same, but there is something different, okay? So for the body part is this one. It is not this one. I'm gonna do double no, okay? So please memorize this, yeah? Okay. Yeah. good so I know you're not gonna make that mistake um, it would drive me crazy many years ago okay so that's it for today let's review a little bit of everything and here we go so we have the chest this part students one thing that I wanted to talk, talk about the chest right here if for some reason you're having a situation when you have pain in your chest, this is very serious. Please call the emergency number or go to the emergency emergency room. In the United States, you can call 911, okay, if you have chest pains. This is very serious, okay? So this is your chest, right? So we have the chest. We have your shoulders. Show me your right shoulder. Show me your left shoulder. So we have our shoulders. Okay, good. Um, then we have our armpits. Don't forget deodorant every day. <laughs> so on both armpits, because we have two. Um, then we have your back, right? Your back. Um, then we have your arms. So we have one arm, two arms, okay? So you have your arms. You have your upper arm. Do you remember the upper arm or the muscles? This part, upper arm. And so that's the upper arm. We have the forearm. Remember the forearm? This part right here. When you play volleyball. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's your forearm right here. My forearm. Then we have one hand, two hands. Yeah. Um, so we have our hands. We have our wrists one more time wrists one wrist two wrists this is a difficult one right here wrists okay um then we have our fingers so we have five fingers on each hand for a total of 10 fingers now let's talk about the fingers this is the thumb yeah thumb thumbs up very good thumbs down not good okay so thumbs with the thumb we have the index we have the middle finger careful with the middle then we have the ring finger empty <laughs> no ring on this one um and then we have the pinky pinky promise very serious stuff right so Please think about your pinky promises that you're gonna make very serious. Um, then we have our elbows. No elbows on the table, make your mother happy. And then we have our stomach. Here we go. Not stomach, but the stomach, okay? So it's your stomach. Um, or abdomen, right? Or you can say abs. And if you go to the gym, you have a nice stomach, you have a six pack. I don't have a six pack, but it's okay. Um, and the last thing that we're going to talk about is the, the waist, okay? This waist, not this waist, okay? So, yeah. So if you like this lesson, Give me a thumbs up and give me a like. And please subscribe. 
Don't forget to tell your classmates, tell your teacher, tell your friends, tell your cousins, tell your sister, tell your brother, tell the cashier when you go to the supermarket because that's the only place that you can go these days, right? Or the guy at the gas station uh, because you can only go to the gas station or the supermarket, yeah? But please stay home, um, practice your English. Pinky promise, pinky promise uh, that you're going to practice every day. Don't forget, it's very serious and stay safe out there. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.